talk a little bit about how basically everything he came up with was nonsense and how he mistreated patients and how he was a drug addict and how he was a sexist and also how I think one time he defended uh, uh, sex with minors. Look, all, all I'm saying Shock is... Horror. Yeah, look, like, wow, it's, it's really weird to me that he's become like the father of psychology. Like, that's kind of the title that he's given when like... The man didn't really seem to care about evidence. He spoke. To, I mean, he like he spoke to people, um, and he wrote uh, uh, based on his experiences. But he was not a fan of like empirical evidence, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is Peer just reviewed studies. Dude, dude called himself a scientist. Didn't like care about empirical like uh, empirical evidence. Yeah. Like he did not. I have interest just off the top of my memory. What was his deal with Carl Jung? Was he taught by Carl Jung, or did he teach Carl Jung? Jung was taught by Freud. Yeah, but I think also Jung, a lot of his work was not based in like <laughs> science. Yeah, what well, this is? Look, okay, so there, there is, there is a benefit to you know talking about like experiences and bringing together that sort of like qualitative data. But when you're not, I guess, and like getting it in a sort of, um, I guess, standardized way, your 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 sort of results are harder to harder to really like root out. And especially when it's it's much easier in that sense, I guess, for your own personal bias to like to come into it. And people are all individuals. I feel like uh, there there's some truth in most models of psychology. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, except for like the very like <laughs> pseudoscience, like racist ones and all that. <laughs> but like there's some truth in in a lot of them in that, you know, we are very complex. It's like personality tests, right? They're mostly nonsense, but some of them do ring true to some degree for some people in that, you know, there are some people that are more like this. There are some people that are a little bit more like that. But, you know, we did we did an episode on the MB, uh, the, what, the Myers-Briggs um, type indicator, which was, I think, based on Jungian psychology, which was based on not much. No, I'm... <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, there, there, there are some good things there, like thinking of the id, ego, and superego. It may not be, you know, you know, absolutely, this is definitely how it works, but it is an interesting model to you know, think about psychology or think about, you know, your sort of personality. Um, and it does it does ring true in some sense. Uh, psychology is, I think, a difficult branch of science because it's not as easy to, you know, find kind of cold, hard results. It's not as easy to do that, do it in psychology as it is maybe with other branches, particularly because, you know, as I said, we're all individuals. So, for example, half the people we know have ADHD, right? Yes. Yes. And All the ex-YouTubers. <laughs> you're either neurodivergent or gay or, God forbid, both. Um, My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, not all people, you know, with ADHD present exactly the same. The same with autism. Like, I know a ton of autistic people and they're all, yeah, there are similarities, but they're all very different. And not like, oh, they're different kinds of people. Yes, of course, they're different kinds of people. But the way that sort of um, their brain works, even though they're all, like, they've very much got autistic brains... They don't all work exactly the same way. It's it's. I feel like with psychology, there's so many variables and there's so much going on that it's very very difficult to pin down, uh, pin anything down or make a category that is you know distinct and discrete. Yeah. Right. Hmm. But yeah, no, that's it. Uh, that's all I've really got on Freud. Other than I've got a bunch of more stuff on his dream interpretation and his psychosexual theories. But I reckon I reckon we should save that for another episode. I guess my last sort of segment here, um, it's it it's just it's it's very quick. Um was he right? No, mostly not. But there were I mean <laughs> Oh, I have written here, nah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well like the super ego and id stuff, like I'm sure it's not like the final conclusion of how things work, but it probably helped other people that are interested in the study. Yeah, and to it's also uh, yeah. figure out other well, stuff. Interestingly, the thing that I mention all the time that I am eventually going to do an episode on, mm. transactional analysis. Sounds roughly similar. It sounds yeah. like a sort of developed version of the id, super ego, and ego thing, um, because it splits you into child, parent, and adult. Adult being you, parent being your critical uh, self that holds you to account, and child being playful, messy, artistic, all those kind of things. So it sounds somewhat similar, and it probably came out of either F um, Freud or Jung, mm. like an off an offshoot from that. Yeah, no, I think. What that highlights is that, I mean, all science, but it's very easy to see with psychology, all science isn't looking for objective truth, necessarily. I mean, mm -hmm. 
to some extent it is, but it, it's it's more about looking for useful models that are predictive. Yeah. Um, and in psychology, that's really the most important thing, right? It doesn't it doesn't matter. Like you can't ever prove that something's an objective fact because you can't you can't look at every single person, but you can build a model that can help you figure out. Okay, well, okay, I've got a model for this thing called ADHD, which means that this little gremlin is going to act. Like he's gonna to need to be given stuff to fiddle with during a recording session, so he doesn't go absolutely insane. Yeah, there, there he goes. He's got his little fiddle toys that are very quiet. But that's the thing, right? Like that model allows me to be predictive of people like Noah and others who have ADHD. Like I know that people I know that have ADHD, I can't do certain things, or it's gonna be difficult for them. Or you know, there's, there, it, it's useful, right? Yeah. And that's the main thing. It's the same with you know physics. Physics isn't about like absolute. This is genuine absolute fact because in some cases we can't like prove beyond. Like, you know, we've been wrong about so many things. Yeah, that's why, like, gravity's not real either, so, like... Well, yeah, no, you're... Yeah, what a thing to drop at the end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't drop anything, because gravity's not real, Luke. Um. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>